morning everyone it is monday morning a fresh week it's a busy week this week i've just finished editing the vlog that went out earlier on firstly i need to update you on some artwork um i get so many questions about how i do my canvases and my artwork but I'm not going to tell you how I do it, which is really annoying. Um, if you do want to find out, there are probably so many people on YouTube and Pinterest and TikTok that can show you. But I'm not going to tell you because I have something coming very soon that will explain all. So that is why I'm not going to do a tutorial. Um, but I'm going to show you my new artwork that I did yesterday. made myself a matcha this morning. I haven't had matcha for ages and I forgot how much I loved it. I'm also wearing this new tracksuit from What The Brand. You probably know how obsessed I am with What The Brand. I wear my khaki tracksuit all the time. I think I probably wear it at least once a week. And they kindly sent over a new one. This is the chocolate brown, kind of like a wide leg jogger style. And oh my goodness, I love it so much. When I tell you these tracksuits are the best best quality and i love the colors that they do i find a lot of tracksuits are always in like bright pink and bright blue and green and it's just not my vibe and the tones of their tracksuits are just incredible so i'm absolutely loving this this morning i put it straight on it arrived yesterday and i've ripped the tags out and put it on this morning i'm also fresh faced today i haven't got any makeup on i've just done my skincare my hair, I washed it yesterday and styled it a little bit differently, which I'm going to show you in this vlog. And I'm actually converted to this new tool that I've been using. I mean, look at my hair, it just looks, it looks like I've had a blow dry and I just love it. Um, so anyway, that's something for later on in the vlog, but I'm going to show you my artwork. Okay, so... This is the new canvas that I've been working on over the weekend. It's actually been a bit of a labour of love. I've been doing it for about two days now. Usually it only takes me about half a day. But I just can't decide if I like it. Now, the one that you can see there, which is behind me um, over here in the mirror, that one used to be in the office, which you probably know. But I moved it into here just because I felt like that wall was lacking something. And it just fits that space so perfectly. I love how this mirror almost acts as like an, a piece of artwork on the wall. I love the reflection in it. It just looks so good. So I'm really pleased with that being there. It matches the room so well. But in the office, I wanted to do something a little bit different. And... Also, I can bring this artwork, obviously, with me to the new house. I can paint over it if I decide I don't want it. And I know that I do want quite a lot of green within some of the rooms in our house. So I wanted some artwork to reflect that. Now, I didn't use Farrow and Ball paint for this one. We actually just went to Hobbycraft to pick up my canvas. And I just got a load of paints, acrylic paints, from Hobbycraft. Just so it was easier and I could get going on it straight away on saturday afternoon so i don't know if that's what's throwing me off the colors or whether it's just because it's green and i'm not used to it i just don't know but oh, i think maybe it's because there are so many different types of green within the one canvas and that's what jack said maybe there's too many greens he said his favorite part is this corner which is actually the corner that i did first um so yeah We've been looking at it all weekend and he has said he doesn't like the green. He said it kind of reminds him of like an army man or like a teenager's bedroom. But I do still really love it. And I've just posted a picture on my home account of like a really close up detail shot. And I just think it looks so cool. So I'm actually going to hang it up in the office and see what it looks like. See what I think. I think I'm going to go over it again today and just maybe put some more brown in it and bring out the green tones that are in the corner with this really nice kind of like dreamy whitewash effect that's kind of on this side. I didn't really do it on this side. Um, and it isn't actually finished. I kind of just painted this half of it and then was like, I don't know if I like it. Jack didn't like it. I was like, oh, I just don't know what to do. I did a poll on Instagram and you guys agreed with Jack and said, just paint it all brown. But I just feel like that's so boring and I wanted to add something a bit different. So let's put it in the office and see what it looks like.
morning everyone it is tuesday morning i'm in a great mood today i really was unwell in the night i've been up since about 2 a.m on and off just being quite unwell um but yeah i woke up properly at i think it was about 5 15 and jack was already awake so i was just chatting to him and yeah i'm awake i have already done so much this morning i've already finished a job filmed a job and I feel really productive. I had an email in my inbox yesterday afternoon from the Cowshed Spa and Soho House and I literally cannot believe it. I have been invited for a Cowshed Spa appointment for Mother's Day. So I get to take my mum to Shoreditch House and honestly, I nearly passed away when I saw the email because you guys know I am obsessed with Soho Home style and interiors and it's really something that I want to kind of replicate and interject into our house. So, ah, can't believe it. So me and my mum next Friday are going for pedicures at the Shoreditch House Cowshed Spa. And oh my God, I am so excited. So I think I'm going to treat my mum to a really nice day in London on Friday next week. And... I'm gonna book us lunch somewhere, look around in some shops, get the pedicure. Oh my God, it's gonna be lovely. And just a really nice way to start off the weekend and like a pre Mother's Day treat. So I think that'll be so lovely. And do you know what? I actually had some Soho Home bits on my vision board and I feel like it's really coming true. But anyway, I made myself a matcha. I made myself an iced matcha this morning because I really fancied a cold drink, I think because I was quite unwell last night. I'm just gonna be a little bit mindful of what I'm eating today, because my tummy is a little bit sore. Um, so yeah, made myself an iced matcha. I really fancied a nice cold drink. Um, I do it exactly the same as my hot matcha. Um, I use the Alpro vanilla milk, but I just have it cold and put ice in. Oh, it honestly tastes delicious. This bag, has literally been in my mind every single day. Everything I wear, I think, oh my God, this would look incredible with it. The price tag is slightly sickening, but just look at it. Oh my God, I just, I can't stop thinking about it. The size of it as well. Oh, I love it. They also have it in cream as well, but I feel like I would get so much more wear out of this color and I'm not too mad on this color. I feel like I would go off that very quickly and it wouldn't really fit into my wardrobe as well as this. Oh, I love it. Good morning, it's Wednesday morning. It's 7.30, I am ready for the day. I've just done my makeup and my hair. Um, I've used the Panasonic straighteners on my hair. I'm going to be doing a few tutorials with how I use the straighteners because honestly, my world has been rocked and I didn't think I'd ever be somebody that uses straighteners to curl my hair because I could never do it and it never gave me the look that I like but oh my goodness I love it it's like a really undone bouncy like really just kind of a natural curl and I love it I also find that the straighteners hold so much better than any other tool that I've used so I'm very happy about that I'm going to show you how I do it in this vlog a little bit later on because honestly it's so easy and the straighteners are incredible um so i need to get myself dressed i've laid out a few clothes so i just need to decide what i want to wear today because i've got no idea the weather is giving me winter today it's drizzly damp gray i can see some blue sky somewhere so I'm praying that it's going to be a nice day today. I'm going into London to meet Georgia this afternoon. I'm going into London for a couple of meetings. I've got a, an appointment with And Other Stories, which is always my favourite time of the month. So I'm going to try on some bits and show you what I'm trying on. And then I'm going to meet Georgia for lunch before heading home. So a really lovely day, lots of socialising walking from place to place i'm gonna try and walk as much as i can today because everything is relatively close and i can walk so that is my plan get some steps in i need to leave in about half an hour so i'm gonna get myself dressed and pack my bag and get in the car this is the outfit that i've decided to wear today so i have got on my toe term jacket because spring is nearly springing and i just cannot wait to wear this again 
Um, underneath I have a cream knit from Pixie Market, which you cannot see. Um, I've got my khaki leather trousers on from Mango. And then Chloe Lauren trainers. And this is my Kafune bag, which is such a good size. And I love this colour. I feel like it just matches all these tones really, really nicely. So yeah, this is my look of the day. Little simple but cosy. And I really love all the colours. So yes, very much liking this outfit. I am going to jump in the car and head to the station. So I will see you when I get to London. Okay, I am now in London. I'm in under the stories of the changing rooms. I've picked out a bunch of stuff that is very spring vibes and I'm very excited about it. So I'm gonna try them all on and show you what they look like. So we've got a linen trench. This looks absolutely gorgeous. This wool boucle little jacket, which I love. And then a couple of simple bits. So I've got this lovely like oatmeal cardigan, a navy blue dress, which is beautiful. I wanted to try on these jeans because I'm looking for a more kind of oversized pair of jeans. So I'm gonna give these a go. And then also a really simple knit, but I could really do with a new knitted jumper and I love this color. So I'm gonna try on all of these bits and I will show you how they are looking. So these are the jeans on. I've actually gone up um, a couple of sizes so that they, I think they were 26. Um, so I've gone up a couple of sizes just so that they fit a little bit looser. I wanted something that's a bit more straight leg um, and kind of baggy that I can then crop the bottoms to fit the perfect length. But to be honest, I think this leg length is quite nice. Um, I just wanted a pair of jeans that were a little bit more slouchy every day. I have got these jeans super, super low um, because they're obviously too big on the waist, but they're really, really comfy. I really like the denim colour, I think especially with cream in spring, like this kind of outfit, I really like. So this is the cardigan that I picked up. I really love things like this for spring because they're really lightweight, obviously quite versatile. You can wear this as a top or you could have it unbuttoned as well. But I think something like this with um, a nice pair of ballet flats, loafers or trainers like these is just such a nice, comfortable, easy spring look. I absolutely love this. Oh my god. Oh my god. This jacket is beautiful. It's kind of like a long line bomber jacket, so it's a little bit smarter than um, a bomber, which I really, really love. It's got no collar, no lapel, so it's really simple, nice, like, boxy, rounded shoulders. This is in a 32, I think. Oh my god, I think I'm going to have to get this. I love it so much. Imagine this in spring. Oh, gorgeous. Even, like, um undone with like a little mini dress i think this would be so cute oh my god i absolutely love it it's just like a bit of a different option to a blazer even with this whole outfit i actually really really love it <laughs> love. okay next up i have the linen trench coat and this gorgeous knit the lighting is such a weird color so you might not be able to see it properly um, but this knit is just a really nice mushroomy colour. It's just such a nice oversized fit. It's well blend, so it's really soft. Um, but the trench coat, I'm talking quietly because there's loads of people in here. But this trench coat, oh my god, I absolutely love it. I feel like this has been the most successful under the stories try on I've ever done. I love everything. This is stunning. It's got like really soft lapels, little shoulder details, cuff details, oh, pockets. It's got a belt, it's double breasted, so you could do it up. I absolutely love it. I love the details of this. Oh, I think I'm gonna have to get everything. <laughs> Little croaky voice. <laughs> okay, guys, I haven't vlogged for a while. Um, and now I'm in my little G. 
Yeah, why did it all be so fast? <laughs> We've just had lunch at 180 and a nice catch up I'm with the sick girl. Um, yeah. <laughs> in a way. Um, we're just gonna shoot a little bit. I'm just gonna shoot our looks and film some TikToks and reels and get some shit all up. sorts of content. I'm loving your outfit today. Thanks, darling. It's very cool. I like these colours. This is very about chic. as colourful as I get. Like. Yeah, I feel the same. Yeah. Like I this is probably colour oh, for no, me. We're, we're actually Yeah, we are quite matching. matching. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, I'm gonna put this down because my bags are so heavy, but I'll see you later. It is Thursday today. How the hell is it Thursday already? Literally, where has this week gone? I can't believe it. Um, I am just getting ready to leave. I'm driving down to, I'm driving over to Tunbridge Wells for a very exciting day. I am actually going to shoot um, the social content for my mum's business. I literally cannot wait. I've got my camera, I've got my camera pack, my laptop, all my kit, and I am literally ready to go. It looks freezing outside, so, I think it, I'm gonna go back to winter and I am gonna wear my beanie because I just don't wanna be cold. Um, so yeah, I thought I would show you today's outfit. I've kind of gone for gray tones today. So I've got my And of the Stories gray coat, but then I am wearing my white suit trousers from Because of Alice, just to add a little bit of white in there. And my acne trainers, so I've got some nice platform. And the color of these match this outfit so well. So yeah, this is my look of the day. Nice and cozy, casual, but a little bit smart. And I'm ready to head off. I will chat to you in the car and explain what I'm doing today. Um, also, I'm kind of thinking about switching out the curtains over on that window because when I film in the mirror, it's so backlit and the light just goes crazy. So, hmm, I'm thinking of adding some darker curtains so I can shut them and it's not backlit. But anyway, I need to get in the car. Okay, guys, I have arrived in Tunbridge Wells. It is a beautiful, beautiful day, even though that journey took me, honestly, way longer than it should have that nearly took me an hour because everyone was driving at 20 miles an hour and it's like a national speed limit road come on so anyway um quarter past 10 11 12 1, 2. i'm just doing my parking um i'm gonna park for the whole day just so that i've got enough i am going to my mum's salon well, facial studio, salon, we don't know what we're calling it yet, but I'm going there today to shoot her social content for her new business. I am so unbelievably excited, I cannot tell you. So yeah, that is what we're doing today. We're gonna sort it out, get some new bits for it. Um, she's pretty much done, I think we just need to get some styling stuff. I'm gonna shoot, we're gonna do some reels. I'm so excited. So that is the plan for today. I'm desperate for a wee, so I'm gonna quickly walk down to the Pantiles. Um, if you're local to Tunbridge Wells, or you know Tunbridge Wells, I always park in the car park by Calverley because it's such a big car park and it's quite good value for money. Like, it's easy to park in here. So I always park here. And then um, my mum's facial studio salon is going to be in the Pantiles. Um, it's kind of like the top the high street side of the pantiles so not in the pantiles um in case you're local so yeah let's go i am so excited i'm also really glad that i wore um this outfit today oh, just a quick subtle check of my parking hmm, it's actually quite good parking for me anyway um i hate vlogging in public because i feel like people are staring at me and think i'm talking to myself It does look like I haven't left home, but I promise I have. Um, I just didn't vlog much. I knew I wasn't going to because we were super busy. Also just got back and looked in the post box 
and I had some samples arrive from Swoon. I actually ordered a few samples to try because the loaf and the sofa.com sofas are so expensive and I've been figuring out um, the dimensions. I've been figuring out what kind of size sofa we would need and how much it's going to cost and because we kind of want to get a four seater because our living room is really long um, and we want two sofas opposite each other it's going to cost a fortune and I just can't spend that much money on sofas it actually makes me feel sick so um, I'm kind of trying to find a cheaper alternative and I looked at Swoon which is called Swoon Editions if you haven't ever looked at their website I really urge you to I got my desk from there and they do really really cool pieces their sofas are a lot cheaper than loaf so I think we would actually be spending like 50 or 60 percent less but I wasn't sure what the samples would be like they've got great styles great sizes but I've ordered some samples and to be honest some of them I think do look quite cheap um like a little bit shiny and I'm not that keen but I picked out three here that I do quite like so firstly is this linen antique colour which I think looks really nice I quite like the idea of the linen um, and I think this is quite a nice colour it's like a more creamy oaty colour and then also this one which is polyester and um, this is in the shade alkali but I actually really like this it's kind of like linen effect but it's really soft so I thought that might be quite comfortable for a sofa and then I also got a cream boucle because I also do really like this, but I just don't think it's that practical to have. Um, but I like to get one of these because I'm going to definitely have an armchair in boucle, so it's nice to see like together. So yeah, those are the samples that I got. So I can add those to my collection, show Jack, see what he thinks. So my plan for the rest of the day, I need to edit all the content that me and my mum shot today and get that sent over to her so she can start playing around with it on her socials which is very exciting and i'm just going to do a bit of a plan for tomorrow i'm going to do half a day shooting and half a day cleaning tomorrow um which would be good but it's such a gorgeous day oh my god i'm so glad i went out today because the weather was amazing and it put me in such a good mood but firstly i have the worst period pains so i'm going to take some anodin extra and put my tracksuit on <laughs> i've just made myself a quick late lunch because it is four o'clock and i've got a salad and in here i've got just normal salad leaves um an edamame and bean like ready-made salad from waitrose don't know if you can see the beans in there there we go um and then i've just sliced up some pear and i've got some feta super easy late lunch because it's only a few hours till dinner so usually I would have like um, some protein in here like tuna or chicken or prawns um, but I don't actually have anything so this will do and I've got one of my favourite dash waters this is the lemon flavour my favourites are lemon and raspberry they are so delicious so yeah can you see this? Oh my god, look at this squirrel in front of me. What is it eating? Like some bread. How cute is that? <laughs> Hello guys, it's much later on now and I've just had a shower and washed my hair so it's completely straight. I've just blow dried it. I'm going to show you how I style my hair at the moment um, because I've been using the Panasonic nano e straighteners which i have been using for the last probably like month now and i absolutely love them i think they are such a better way to style your hair and what i really love is that you can have these on a really low temperature so you can have them on 150 degrees which is so good and actually the same as dyson air wrap the reason why I've decided to switch over to these straighteners is because firstly I found that my Babyliss curling wand was so drying for my hair. It made it feel so coarse and dry. Um, although it did hold the curls well, it just made it really dry. And then my Dyson Air Wrap is just not holding my hair. I think it's because my hair is so healthy at the moment. I don't know if you can see like 
the shine on my hair and just it is in the best condition it has been in for such a long time and I'm being really strict with like oiling and hair masks and all of that stuff um and I think because it's so silky it just doesn't hold in the air wrap and it's getting a bit annoying so I wanted to find something else and I've been testing these out and I'm honestly converted I am working with Panasonic which I know when people say that they love something and then they say they're working with the brand immediately you think oh do you actually love it but I'm not working with them on YouTube I'm working with them on Instagram so I don't have to tell you this I just genuinely really want to share how I am styling my hair at the moment because I can't believe how good these straighteners are even if you straighten your hair they are so brilliant so I've just left these to heat up a little bit and it always takes me a little while to get used to it so the first one is never that good but I basically wrap them round and then just kind of drag them down to create a bit of a curl like this um, and I just do that all over my hair and what I love about it is I've actually been trying out some different methods of different curls so I've tried out kind of doing like a normal curl like this um, but I've also found a way where I can make like a bit of a blow dried curl where I can kind of like wrap it round let me show you on one of my pieces of hair so I kind of go like straight down like this and kind of curl it like round and under and it kind of creates more of like you see that like that blow dried kind of curl um which when I brush it out it looks like the blow dry air wrap vibe yeah so that is how the curls are looking I mean my hair looks orange in this light because it looks so warm the only thing that I need to master now is starting the curls from higher up because I have actually watched a few videos on it but because my hair is quite long I find it hard to get the curl to start higher like up here so that bit is always straight and then the curls are at the bottom which I mean it's going to take some practice but I'm not too fussed about it I just and to be honest I do quite like it when my hair drops a little bit because I quite like it when my hair's got a little bit more um texture and shape but it's not super curly Okay, so that's one side. Now, what I'm going to do is just separate all these bits of hair. I always do that because I find like it drops out a bit more, which is kind of what I want. But can you see that volume? I mean, all I've done is do the curls with the straightener and it's already created so much volume. Insane. Um, like, look at the difference. It's incredible. So I'm literally going to do the same on the side and I will do a time lapse. That is literally how I do it. It's so easy. And the curls actually look so silky and healthy. I'm going to get myself ready. We're going to go out for dinner tonight with Jack's dad and his brother. Um, so I think we're going to go to the pub for a few drinks, go out for dinner, I'm very excited, so yeah, I will show you what I'm going to wear. Okay, outfit of the evening, I am wearing, this jumper is from Zara, my trousers are also from Zara, um, unfortunately they are both very old, but I will link similar ones. I took these trousers up earlier, so they are the perfect leg length, they're just like a wool grey trouser. Then I've got my black um, boots that I oh, literally constantly wear, the heel, I mean, can you see that? The heel is broken. Um, why? No, it's not done it for me. Okay. Um, these are from Office. And sack tissue bag. And that is my outfit of the night. And here is my hair, finished. I mean, it looks orange. Look how orange my hair looks in the camera. Jesus. Um, so yeah, we're ready for dinner. We're going to go to the pub for some drinks and we're going to have a an Indian for dinner. 
Can't decide whether to get salmon tikka or try something new. It's nice. What's in my hair? I think you just had a bit of fluff in your hair. I think it's the shoes that make me look weird. It's not. Why do no, you just think you always look weird? You don't. Does this look right? Yeah, that looks, that looks nice.